Welcome to my happy place. If you are new here, hello, I'm Jenny, and I use this space to share all things planner related. So if that sounds like something you're into, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button. Let's get started. Today I plan to break down my stress-free monthly planner setup system for you guys. I've been doing it little bits at a time in Instagram for a couple weeks now in Reels and I just thought um, that I should do a full length video here because some of you still have questions and it's really hard to paint a whole picture in Instagram. So this is my planner, which if you've been here for a while, you're familiar with my setup. If you're new here, I'm so excited for you to be here. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. I always respond and I will always do my best to uh, help you. Um, so with my planner setup system, I use my storage system. Now, if you haven't seen that video, you might wanna pause this and go back and take a look at my planner storage system because that is essential for my planner setup system. Okay, so um, looking at my planner storage system, I have all of the inserts that I use and all of the inserts that I have used in these two bins. So I not only keep the new ones in the front of every section, but I store the old ones at the back of it. <clears throat> so it kind of has a dual purpose. And so when I'm working on setting up my planner for the coming month, so right now is July, so I had been working on setting up August. My August setup is done. It's the 25th. I've been done for like 10 days. Um, and it just completely removes the stress out of it. And you've got to have a storage system for your inserts. So getting this set up is a bit of a task. And it's a bit of a headache. But it pays in dividends every month when you can just grab what you need out of it. I have this... Um, habit of I just have a post it. This is a post it you can get from my Etsy shop too. Um, you can get it in these mini sizes or the large sizes, and I just put it on the front of each of these little bundles. So when I'm going through, if there's something that I'm almost out of, I'll just write it on here. And then when I have some time um, and I make a priority to print, I find some time to print. I love printing my inserts and cutting them and all of that stuff. I really enjoy it. Um, Maybe that makes me unusual, but I'm all right with that. But when I do, I come down here and I just look at the post-its on, e on each of the sections and then I know what I need to print. So everything that I need is ready. So what I do each month, now this one's all complete. So I'll show you, I'll show you what this looks like having been complete. But if you jump onto my Instagram, you'll see what it looked like empty. So in this little clear pouch you don't need a clear pouch I had this and I wasn't using it so I used this to separate it and to keep it together so this I have the matching little one too um, again you don't need to go and buy these things I really want you to use what you have um, but if it's something that's in your budget go for it in this little one I have this little envelope from a purchase I made um, from cloth and paper I don't really buy physical planner things at all anymore. I just find them to one, be terrible for the environment, two, I hate paying for shipping, and three, um, I could just print it at home if they sell a PDF version of it. So um, I have this little envelope from one of those purchases like a long time ago. And in here, I keep all of the stickers that I've made for myself to make setting up my inserts really fast. So I'll show you, I'll show you that as we go. And then I also have all of these date stickers and dots and things um, from Daisy Papers. So if there's a sticker that I cannot make, this is where I get it from. Her stickers are amazing. Um, the quality is amazing. Her price is amazing. What I love is she's Canadian. So I can shop in Canadian money um, and um, shipping doesn't cost me an arm and a leg because it's staying in my country. So if you're a Canadian, planner enthusiast i highly recommend you check out daisy papers and you can use jenny 10 to save on your next order so j-e-n-n-i 
10. Um, and then you can save on your order from her. So for my planner setup system, I keep all of my stickers together with the inserts that I need to set up. So everything's in hand and organized and ready to go. And that makes it really easy for me to jump in whenever I have like five or 10 minutes and I just go through this checklist and I check off one thing at a time. So this is a post-it, a PDF post-it that I created. It's available for free. If you go to my Instagram account and click on the bio, there's a whole bunch of freebies in my freebie folder. This is one of them. So this is specific to my planner system. So I highly encourage you to create your own in time, but if you are just in a pinch and you wanna like jump on this and get this done for August, then by all means use this and just cross out what isn't applicable to you. And I just have everything that I need to do each month on this post-it. And so whenever I need to jump back in, I just look at what isn't checked off and I just work on one of those checks. So in here, I've got old um, dividers that I'm not using anymore to create the sections that are the same as what I have in my planner. So the, the flow of them in my planner is the same as in this working package. And so what I do to start each month, this working package will be completely empty and there'll be nothing but dividers. And with reference to my planner, because even I can't remember all of this, um, I will go through, um, so this tab says routines. So I have like a routine annual package that I have in my planner and I don't need to change that, but I do use the daily routine insert from Infinite Lotus. And so I will need to set that up. So this is it here. So I'll print this off. I always do, um, I do the monthly covers for this. Um, I don't do that ahead of time because sometimes I change what I would like to put on these inserts. So that's the one thing that I really don't print ahead and have stored. But everything else is just ready and waiting for me in my storage system. So all I do is I go into my storage system, I grab whatever I need, pop the rings out, pull it out, and then I will place it into my working package and pop it into these rings here. So. Like I said, I've already finished August, but so I printed my monthly covers. So I've got a nice section. So when I store it after and it goes in here, it's all nice and neat by section. Um, so I've got that. And then all I needed to do for these inserts was put the week of stickers up at the top. So you can just write it in. I really love stickers. It's the one thing that really brings me joy with this hobby. So I made these stickers um, and I shared them with you in my freebie folder. So if you have a home printer, you can just get some sticker printer paper and just print these off. Um, I don't have a Cricut. I don't have any fancy way of cutting them out except with my fingers and some scissors and some tweezers to peel them off. And it works just fine and it saves me a ton of money. And then I've got these stickers exactly how I want for all of my week of inserts. So that's what I do for my first section. My next section in my planner is my scheduling section. And the only thing that I ever need to change in there are the months that I have in my planner. So I like to have three months in my planner at a time. So I'll go to my monthly section here. So I have right now July because it's July. I have August and I have September. So when August rolls around, I will take July out. I will put it in my storage space base for it right here and I will put this is October I will put October in so I always have three months in my planner at a time so I have October ready and waiting the next section that I have in my planner is my weekly section so here I have my monthly covers that are printed and all of my uh, spread on the inside I've got them all stickered ready to go so I'll just give you a closer look. So I love to use the circle dots in nude from Daisy Papers. I use these for everything. I just love them. I love the font. I love the size. And then at the bottom of this insert, I put her week weekly number stickers here. And I like to use that for reference every day when I'm going to 
my routine section. I have this page in here for the weekly routine and I very easily forget what week I'm on because time goes by so quickly. <laughs> so it is my quick reference. So I can just flip really quickly to see what week I'm on. So right now, as of today, I'm on the 30th week. So um, that's where I put that sticker. I find it is the perfect spot for it. Um, and if you find that you need to reference what week uh, number you are on, I highly recommend putting it on your weekly spread um, and grabbing those stickers from Judy at Daisy Papers. My next section is my daily section. So this, I'll go into the package that's all daily and I'll get my monthly covers out. So see, I've got my monthly covers pre-printed up at the front and then I go back here and I count however many of these I need, whether it's 30 or 31 and if it's 31 I don't need that end page um, and then I put as many pages in between as I need and then I grab my stickers which I've already done but I have another set for my journal so I use these and they fit so perfectly under this little spot at the top of my daily plan. So this insert is the Infinite Lotus MN040T. Mine is a custom version of it only because I wanted it to start at five because that's when I get up. Yes, yes, I'm crazy. Um, and then, so it starts an hour or it ends an hour earlier. So it was just a, a slight adjustment to the schedule that she made for me. Everything else is the same. I love this insert. Um, for my dailies. If you're a daily person, I highly recommend. It's a very controversial subject. People either love dailies or have no time for them. I love them. It's my go-to list um, and that's my running list. Um, and then if there's something I didn't get done that day, I just carry it on to the next daily. So I love my daily. So those are the stickers that I use there. Here I have my work section. I'm a teacher and it's summer. So this section is blank. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everybody who's not a teacher watching right now. Please don't hate me. Um, my next section is my tracking section. So here I have my lovely covers. So when I put it away, it's all organized. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. Am I like next level organized or am I just super OCD? I'm not sure which one I am. Whichever it is, that's the way I am and I'm okay with it. But as I'm going through this, I'm like, wow, I am really organized. Okay, so anyway, um, went off on a tangent. Tracking. This is the insert that I use and I use it for everything. So I put the little sticker up there um, and then you fill it, you just fill it out. So it's a habit tracker, so I fill it out for that. But I've also used it to track my exercise. See how I did that there just by changing the way I filled it out. And then I did the same thing for physical health. So I've tracked like cycles, migraines, runs, hydration, and dietary. And then over here, I've tracked my mental health, my mood, my productivity, and my anxiety. So this one tracker can do all things. I also use it for sleep times. See how easy that is? Like, I'll just write when I, like, I, I do it in a line. I'll show you what it looks like as I fill it out. I'll make it easier for you to see what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so here's physical health and here's mental health. See how it just paints a picture for me? And then here are sleep times. So it shows me, you know, like where I'm kind of going to bed at and when I'm waking up. Um, and then this shows me my sleep total. So this month has been kind of special. Um, so yeah, so this is, um, I'm not gonna remember this, so I'm gonna have to look it up. This tracker is amazing and I want you to have it if you need it. And it is called, the Infinite Lotus MN097. So I've used, I have used a ridiculous assortment of trackers and I um, have found that this was one of the first ones I got and it is one of the simplest and I keep coming back to it 
because of its simplicity, because it's easy to use, I stick with it. So I used more complicated trackers, ones that instead of staying on one page, like carried over and I could never get the lines to match up or I would lose my place. I find this, everything that I will track is on that page for that entire month. And I just find that so much more easy to use and so much more of a visual input for me that I love this tracker. Um, and if you've never thought to use a tracker in a different way than it was intended, I hope I've lit like a match. I sparked an idea for you to do something to make it work for you. Um, my next section that I get ready is my journaling section. So this, I'm going to do another video on exactly how to do this. But so in my journaling section, I use a combination of a few inserts. Um, the first one that I use is the daily journal insert from Infinite Lotus. It is guided without being too rigid. So you can see there's an open space here. I use that for any kind of a countdown or a scripture quote that I want to remember that day. There's uh, three bullets up at the top. So I usually just use that space to write like the big things that are going on. There's a wellness section for exercise, water, sleep, and mood. And then there's this thoughts area over here. Three open-ended but small thoughts. And I love how when I look back on these pages, it can just remind me of the main things that happened every day. And um, I just find that so useful in reflection. I find it useful when I'm journaling to my girls. I journal to them weekly and it just helps remind me of everything that's happened over the week. Um, I use this insert in addition to the weekly review insert from Infinite Lotus. So when I print these, I print them so it's on the back. So it doesn't need to be in a different section because this is all journaling. And so on Sunday, this pops up and there's that um, sticker that I made for myself. So it's another one of those week of inserts. So I use that sticker here and the entire month I've got it set up. So it just flows. So I've got the stickers from Judy for the dates on here, the same stickers that I use in my daily inserts. They're just such a great quick way to put the full day um, on your insert and then it flows right into another weekly review and at the end of the month on the back of the last page I print a monthly review so I have everything in this section that belongs together but it all flows together seamlessly so that's one of the big reasons why I love pdf printing is because you can customize how those pages end up together in your planner. And this is just so great because now I, I'm not wasting space. I have my sections organized with my monthly covers. I have my weekly reflections blended right into my daily and I end my month on a monthly review. I just love that. So um, if you've never thought to do that before, I hope this is giving you another idea of ways to simplify your system and streamline um, the flow in your planner. I need a sip of water. That's much better. Okay, my next section that I set up each month is my cleaning section. So this one, I have a lot of fun with it. Um, <laughs> I like to use stickers. So I use, I use uh, the Daisy Paper Micro Icons to fill this out in such a fun way. I look forward to making, or not making, I look forward to setting up this insert a little bit too much each month because it's so much fun. So I, I put my, this one's super crooked. Um, do your stickers better than me. <laughs> but um, this is that uh, weekly sticker freebie again. So it's another week of insert. So I put that up at the top and it's just nice and tidy. And then up at the top of this section, this is an insert from Infinite Lotus as well. This is their weekly clean insert. Um, I put icons that represent the daily things that I need to do each day. So the dishwasher, garbage, wiping down the bathrooms, hand wash dishes, making the bed and folding laundry. I try to do one load of laundry every day so that I don't get the horrible laundry mountain. So far, I still get it because I don't actually do that every day because I hate doing laundry. But anyway, 
um, and then I use those circle dots to label all of the dates that week um, and then I use like this little leaf to remind me when lawn collection is happening so that's how I set up these so this section um, like each of these sections only takes me like 10 minutes or less and because it's all set up ready to go and everything that I need is like ready and waiting I just jump in you know like if we're waiting a few minutes for supper to finish cooking or um, leaving leaving for church in 10 minutes well I'll just jump down and I'll do a section and every month before the second weekend I have everything done and it didn't stress me out and like I have a lot of fun doing it now because it's it's not in a time pinch so that's what I want for you guys. I hope this is giving you some really great ideas for how you can incorporate this into your space at your desk or wherever you do your planning and um, really relieve some of the monthly pressure of getting all of our inserts in and getting the old ones out. And now you have a space to store them and to put them and a separate place to get them organized. So you don't have to bulk up your pretty planners. Okay, my second last section is my social section. So this is where um, I track my consistency with social media. So here I just have this month on one page from Infinite Lotus. I'll show you how I use it. Um, and I just use that to plan what I'm gonna post, if it's gonna be a reel or a post, and then I just have some reminders down here so that I don't like always share a picture of my weekly or a picture of my daily I try to I try to have variety for you guys so you don't get bored with my with my content and then over here I've taken the infinite lotus inbox checklist and I've I've fixed it up a little bit so you can use this function in Adobe it's totally free and you can click on the tools at the top when you open your file and then you can click on fill and sign and you can alter the things that are on the page you can fill in blank lines so it's really nice this is actually a sticker that i made myself um so that i can just stick it on there because i like to get my sections ready in like five minutes or less so why would i write all of this out every month when i could just make a sticker i'll show you the sticker i made and you can do this too so i've where are all of the stickers for that? here they are here so I just made myself some stickers that were the right size and fit into that insert. So now every month when I get to that section, I just stick it on. Um, and then in addition to that, I use the following tracker and I just take a look at, um, you know, if I had um, a lot of new people joining me on Instagram and then I would take a look back at what I shared and what seemed to really speak to people and I use this section to help grow my my group there and my group here and then here I've used that same insert to keep track of everything I need to do in Etsy. I have some list pages um, of all of my to-dos for my Etsy shop and then ideas for content and then um, I'm updating a bunch of the pictures so I've got a new list there and then the last section that I have um, I'll go back to my setup system. The last section that I have is the budget section. It's the last one because it's my least favorite. <laughs> I like to spend money. I don't like to track it, um, but I'm tracking it nonetheless. <laughs> so I use the weekly expenses insert from Infinite Lotus and those circle dots, date dots from Judy, and then my freebie week of sticker just to get everything set up. And then I just can fill it out um, as I spend our money <laughs> and then I have this sheet at the end that I really really like this um, I was so excited when Vivian made this available for PDF um, this is the weekly check-in so you can total your categories each week so you kind of just go back and then you fill it out um, and it gives you kind of an overview as the month is going um, and then there's this um, paycheck budget sheet so you can fill out your fixed expenses for that month and variable expenses you can plan a budget and on the back you can plan your savings 
You can plan any debt payments like mortgage or car payments. And then you can do a summary at the end of the month to get a snapshot of where you're at. This is still a new insert for me, so I have yet to completely utilize this. But I think it's the intention that counts. <laughs> so um, I hope I made you giggle a little bit while you watch this. This was a long one, um, but that is... This is stuck. There we go. That is my stress-free planner setup system. And um, so I just keep it all in here. And I keep all of my stickers together. And whenever I have just a couple minutes, I can jump in and, and get it done. And now on the regular, I have everything ready, like at least two weeks before the month even comes. So it just completely removes the stress. I remember I would have, you know, depending on when the, the month was going to end and what day it was of the week, I would have like up to six days where I would just have a ridiculous amount of inserts stuffed into my planner because I didn't have a different system. And now that I do, it's just, it's just so much better. Now I don't stress about it. I have everything ready for me. Um, and it's just a matter of jumping in casually for a couple minutes here and there until it's done. Um, so use that uh, post-it checklist that I made um, and you can use that to guide you in the future to just create your own. Um, and then you'll have this nice checklist that you can refer to whenever you jump in. Um, so you know where you left off and when you see that all of the checks have been checked off, you know you're all set and you can just relax and not worry about it. So I hope that helped you so, so much. Um, and if you have any questions or need any uh, details about any of the inserts you saw, if I didn't tell you what they were or exactly what the stickers were called, uh, feel free to ask me. I will for sure let you know. And I hope you found this helpful. And now I hope you take some time before the day is done for something you didn't plan. Take care.